Kingdom is a Philippine war dance. Performed by the Magindanao, Maranao, and the Rano. The King Kingdom Dramatic Fashion, the Steps of Hero, Prince Pantuga. The Chukabang Wedding Summonments, the Warrior for Him, and his subsequent victory after wars. Once again, Sabayan.
applause for the Blue Raven Stars. Good morning, Andrews, for everyone to follow. So first and foremost, as we are going to be working with wild animals, I need everyone to find a seat and remain seated for while the show is ongoing. Please do not try to touch or grab any of our animal ambassadors that might come your way. Okay. Secondly, to those who are still eating, I'm so sorry. Please finish up now or kindly keep it up. Oh, as uh, food is strictly not allowed while the show is ongoing, this is for your safety and the safety of our animals as well. Ready for us? The Philippine Great Hornbill, not ah! Mr. Bell, and there he is, Bruce And we also have JJ, Mr. Bell's younger brother. Now, these are our Philippine Great Hornbills, or our uh, Talao's Paul. They get their names from their impressive hornbill, or Puka, which is about 30% of their body. Stand up. If you can zoom in with your cameras, you're going to see that they have very long and beautiful eyelashes. Paul. Oh, now, uh, ladies and gentlemen, these animals are known to be monogamous. Uh, excuse me, Aka. Let's turn off our flash lamp. Oh, thank you so much. Now, once again, we folks, these animals are known to be monogamous. Monogamous meaning, once they find a partner in the wild, they will stay with them forever. Exactly, sana all. So, walang love life. But yan, mas maganda pa buhay ng kalaw sa atin. Oh. Saan natin na. But, uh, as we've shown now, Mr. Bill and JJ finds their perfect partner. I need everyone to shout fly at the count of three, okay? So, uh, let's go for a trial run first. Again, fly at the count of three. One, two, three. Fly! Again, on my right side, energy on my left side. Pwede na tayo po sa show. Magpalit sa mong kapi dito sa gawas. Okay? Again, down with the energy. One, two, three. This is their natural behavior. But out in the wild, in order for them to find their perfect partner, they will need to catch the most fruits or the most insects in order to impress the most females. But now, uh, let's see it one more time, please, Kuya Jifar and Kuya Michael. Mr. Bell, JJ, audience. Wait, lang po, nag-antang sa saging sa baba. And good po. Now, again, audience. One, two, three. in order for them to stand out to the opposite sex. So please help me welcome Barak, our blue and gold macaw. Now ladies and gentlemen, that is Barak, our blue and gold macaw, with the scientific name of Ara Ara Rauna, meaning genius. Why are they called geniuses? They have the mental capacity of a four-year-old child. Po. So kasing talino ni Barak, ang isang kindergarten student. Now, Barak has what we call zygodactyl feet. Zygodactyl meaning two in the front, to win the back, allowing them to grab items for. And as a way of showing you Barak's impressive feet, behind the table we have a Kadang Kadang, a traditional Filipino footwear. And let's see how Barak uses this. So boy, backlight. And there it is, two folks, that is the Zygo Dactyl feet at work. Once again, two in the front, two in the back. Good boy, Barak. Backlight him. And Baba. Have you heard Good boy. Now, ladies and gentlemen, not only is Barak fashion conscious, but he is also environmentally conscious po. So let me ask the audience and be honest, okay? Who here segregates their trash? Kinsan nag-segregate sa basura na to? We have ate, we have sir, we have mom, we have mom, mom, we have mom. We have mom a lot, a couple of kids as well. And the rest, eng, 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 guilty, no? As we can see, unfortunately, not a lot of people segregate their trash po. But hopefully, we'll all learn a valuable lesson from Barak. Because behind the table, we have a can labeled non-biodegradable and another can labeled biodegradable and double check muna ni Barak. Now folks, Kuya Sayonil will drop trash on the table and we'll see how Barak segregates his trash, okay? So uh, Barak, ready? Okay, Kuya Sayonil, ready? Kuya Sayonil, taga! And let's see what Barak picks up first two folks. It looks like a piece of plastic which is gonna go to the non-biodegradable thing to go Barak. But next it looks like another piece of plastic ball which is obviously once again gonna go to the non-biodegradable thing to go Barak. 
Up next, let's see what he picks up. It looks like a uh, piece of leaf for Lahon, which is going to two, the biodegradable thing. Colorful, in order, for the, in order for him to stand out to opposite sex, our next animal bastard is pure white, just like a cloud. So please help me welcome Jumbo, our umbrella crested cockatoo. And there he is, too, folks. That is Jumbo, our umbrella crested cockatoo, with the scientific name of Cockatoo Alba, meaning older brother in Indonesian. Oh, now, let me tell you this unfortunately, 70% of our air pollution comes from our transportation. So our cars, our motorcycles, our buses all contribute to global warming. Pero, as a way of showing you an alternate way to commute to work or to commute to school to lessen our carbon footprints, Jumbo has there behind the table a bicycle. And let's see how Jumbo uses this. So, uh, boy, sakai, patya. And there it is, boy, folks. That is once again the cyber tackle thing at work. Good boy, Jumbo, patya. Now, uh, some of kids, or maybe some of adults who still don't know how to ride a bicycle, nothing to worry about because we also have a scooter. And let's see how Jumbo uses this. So, uh, boy, watch ya. And there we go. helmet. And good boy, Jumbo. Now, folks, those are the ultimate ways for us to commute to work to lessen our carbon footprints. And uh, if you notice, Jumbo is happy this morning. You can tell by checking out the ground or crest on his head, which will raise or lower depending on this mood. Now, let's give Jumbo and Uya Jimar the round of applause that they deserve, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much, Taylor. Of oh, Jumbo. This girl is very bold and colorful as well. So please help me welcome Amiga, our Eclectus Parrot. So Amiga, come here, girl. And there she goes to post. Amiga, come here. And good girl, Amiga. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this is Amiga, our Eclectus Parrot. Now, Eclectus Parrots have what we call sexual dimorphism. Sexual dimorphism is when two sexes of the same species look different to folks. So male Eclectus Parrots are actually green and blue, while females are red and purple. So that is how you differentiate the both of them. Oh, now, before Amiga shows off her amazing talent, it has muna natin ang bandera ng Davao Crocodile Park. So, uh, Amiga, itaas ang bandera. And up, gamay pa. More. Start mo lang. Plus na good. Plus na lang good. And good for Amiga. Now, folks, we're gonna need one very lucky volunteer for this next part po. So, who here has any paper money? Paper money po, wag nang mahiya. Ilabas ang pera. Sige na, who has any paper money po? Okay, I will take now. Amiga, get the money from sir. And there she goes. And get the money, Amiga. And what they'll do now is return to their nest and add all the materials. Oh, and the whole look like that's fine. One more, Amiga. And give it to Puya Sayuri. And there she goes. The girl, Amiga. Now, folks, once again, this is their nesting behavior. Once again, males and females will take turns collecting materials for their nest. Now, unfortunately for us, Kailangan na mo yuli ang 100, no? Dili na mo pwede yung bulsa. So, uh, Amiga, yuli na ang warta, please. Amiga, there she goes. And get the money. Get the money, sir. And good girl. Thank you so much for that, sir. And Amiga, balik. Amiga. Amiga. Bye, Crocodile Park. Bye-bye now.